All right, Asmin actually made something that, you know, I can't talk shit, but isn't a react. Is that recorded video? Don't let these video games fool you. Dude, what, what is this guy rambling about? This will be good. Hi guys, it's me again. It's about four in the morning and I figured I'd make a video and today I want to talk- Bro, every time this guy goes and makes a video at like four o'clock in the morning or like you see he's actually like recording and not on stream, you know something he's either, either is about to be dead serious or he's- or this is gonna be- he's pissed off. So that this will be juicy. Talk to you all about Unreal 5 tech demos being disguised as video games. And I know you might not understand what I'm talking about, but after I explain it, I'm sure that you'll... Oh, yeah, I got, I got no fucking idea what he's talking about right here. ...understand all too well. How many of you in the past couple of years have seen a trailer for a video game that got you incredibly excited? It features, you know, these wide, vast environments, these landscapes that are just so detailed with grass that's flowing in the wind, trees that are photorealistic, and there's a cutaway image of a... Nah, uh, I I remember the one that came out that was kind of like a, it was it was it was like an FPS game, but it looked like super realistic, and you played from almost like a, a like GoPro thing or something like that. It looked insanely real, and I remember it got a lot of backlash. Uh, my man got excited for a tech demo, and now he's pissed. Body cam is going, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. That's really the only one as far as UE5 coming out that was like huge, other than like Fortnite and stuff like that. That I that I paid attention to, and the Fortnite stuff wasn't even like. For like UE5's potential. They did a few playtests right? No shit. I actually can't wait to see what's up with it. Cave with like an opening and there's light coming from the opening and it looks just like it would in real life. And it's like, wow, this game must be so amazing and so incredible. And then about two minutes and 40 seconds into the trailer, the developer accidentally showed some gameplay and it looks basically like something that would be, uh, well, it wouldn't be good enough for Superman 64, okay? Oh, uh, yikes. You're looking at basically the most bottom of the barrel basic combat that they probably bought the combat pack from the Unreal Store. Well, to be fair, this one probably came for free. And this is the kind of issue that I'm talking about. I'm talking about these video games that look like these amazing, incredible, groundbreaking games, but are in fact only tech demos for Unreal 5. I'm going to keep it. So it seems like he's kind of talking about like when they release trailers and how like great they look. And then you look at the gameplay. I feel like this has always kind of been a thing, though. Am I wrong? Like, I feel like we've always kind of lived in this world where the trailers were way better than the thing. Bro, look at how many times, like, for example, in the movie world, the Star Wars movies got me, dude, in the sequels. Like, I was like, holy shit, this movie's actually going to be good. And then they sucked because that's just how they get you with the trailers. Like, that's all marketing. Uh, he's talking about people showing stuff on UE5 pretending it's going to be in the game. So, like, what are they basically making stuff on UE5, but then, like, not making the rest of their game in UE5? I get, I'm just, like, a little... It's really just to show... So, they're just showing it off, but it... Oh, so they're not actually, like, incorporating it into their game. They're just doing it for the graphics. That That's probably why he's mad. Yeah, I mean, that's... So, kind of really faking with... Hey, yeah, that's... Uh, Let's see, let's see. That's messed up. Now, we all know that Unreal 5 is an incredible game engine, and the truth is that it's been able to give tons of people the opportunity who could never make video games the ability to make video games. But the unfortunate downside for that is the opposite, is people that should never make video games are now also able to make video games. <laughs> and I've been seeing a lot of games like this, and unfortunately, I'm sure you guys have as well. The Day Before, The Quinfall. And there was a video game trailer today. I'm not going to say the name because, well, to be honest, I forgot what the name was. Thank God for that. And I was watching the game and everybody was excited. People were like, wow. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. He linked the trailer. He linked the trailer. I'm actually curious. What the fuck? Where is it? The stupid trailer I was talking about. Well, this looks like something that I'd like. Is this like you just... Is it basically like a furry killing simulator? Every boss is like a furry and you just kill them? Cause this seems pretty good. All right, yeah, I mean, this looks good. Yeah, all you do is kill furries. Look at him. This is, yeah, where's the official trailer for this? Vindictus Defying Fate. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be any good or not. Here's the official trailer. Okay, here we go. This is nothing crazy, I'll say so far. Like, this is a normal game trailer. 
I don't see anything wrong with this. I'm gonna fucking kill him. We found him. Two furries at the same time? Oh, wow. I see what he's complaining about. So, okay, this actually, this all checks out now. Because this combat is not like the combat at all in the game. This combat seems completely different than what it actually was when he's talking about this other video. Okay. Yeah, I... An armored furry. Compared to, like, what's in the trailer and the gameplay. A furry in, like, bondage. Oh, an archer furry. It is a lot of furries, though. I, I see what he's talking about. It features, you know, these wide, vast environments. These yeah, landscapes true. These landscapes are just so detailed with grass that's flowing in the wind. Trees that are photorealistic. And there's a cutaway image of a cave. Oh, wait, hold on. We were further into this. Incredible groundbreaking games, but are, in fact, only tech demos for Unreal 5. Now, we all know a lot of games like this, and unfortunately, I'm sure you guys have as well. The Day Before, The Quinfall. And there was a video game trailer today. I'm not going to say the name because, well, to be honest, I forgot what the name was. Thank God for that. And I was watching the game, and everybody was excited. People were like, wow, this looks amazing. This looks so great. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this is really just the same combat sequence being played over and over again. And half of the different scenes are just simply, oh, I don't know. They're basically just scenes of grass or of rocks or of something that's just an environment. Oh, true. I I'm see what sorry, he's saying. Guys, but the environment for games matters, but it doesn't matter more than the combat. And so you're seeing a lot of... Yeah, I mean, nobody nobody's gives a shit how good your graphics are if your gameplay sucks. I mean, some people will, and, you know, you'll hit that niche audience, I guess, but that's not what you should be building your game off of uh, foundationally. It's games that are featuring... If you're very, expecting very it to do... Heavy, very well. Of course, you know, the environments and the detail of the game and the water effects and all of these things that, frankly, I don't think anybody buys a video game for. Uh, there are a lot of game games that have... No, I don't... I, you say it depends on RP, game, like RPGs, definitely not. No, it does not matter. You can make a, like, super graphically pleasing game, and if you're expecting it to, like, do very well, you have to, like, it, you have to have good gameplay. To almost any gamer, the gameplay is going to come before the graphics. You can't release a game with shit graphics and amazing gameplay and expect it to, you know, pop off. I mean, you can in the ARPG world because that's, you know, common. I mean, Diablo 4 PoE, like none of these games have mind blowing graphics, but almost any genre, you do not want to have a game that just, oh, it, it had good graphics and that's all you have to say about it. Odds are that game is not doing so hot. Opportunity to do this, but it just simply doesn't really add that much value to the genuine consumer experience however on the very very face value of it it looks amazing because it's a for scheme a people, for sure the truth is that for many years incredible amazing groundbreaking graphics were reserved only for some of the best studios because they were the only ones who had the tools and the infrastructure and now everybody can do it build something that was that amazing but the truth is that now any idiot can just go and generate a forest in Unreal 5 or generate some other environment. Or actually, that's not even true. What am I thinking? Yeah, any little Timmy can do that. Would actually make anything? Of course not. They'd go to the Unreal store and just buy the entire video game right there. So yeah, the entire basically trailer for some of these games, I'm talking about the Quinfall, by the way, the entire trailer for these games was basically um, budgeted out through Fiverr. So <laughs> basically a bunch of different Unreal Engine store assets being placed together at different intervals. And then, of course, obviously, how are people? It's like it's like those people. Uh, I remember doing this like when I used to fuck around and make like old anime clips, bro. It's like literally just taking a whole bunch of clips together. For a video and just putting them like. Together and just sending it and just being like, yeah, sure, it's good. Like you can do that stuff, but you still need to incorporate your own type of like vision on it and still do something different. You can't just up put a whole bunch of videos together and call it fuck. I'm going to know this unless they're familiar with the topic. Well, I want to talk a little bit about how you can tell that this is happening. And I've been looking at these trailers now for a couple of years, and these are some of the commonalities that I've learned to just kind of pay attention to. 
And so one of the points that I've also really noticed, and I've noticed this quite a bit, is the fact that with a lot of these games, there is almost a 0% focus on gameplay. And for me, in a trailer for a video... That's, all, that's always been red flag for me. If I don't see a whole lot of gameplay, I don't give a shit about the... I don't really give a shit about the trailer. Unless it's a game that I'm really invested in the story for, I, I really don't care. I mean, you know, some can get away with it, like GTA 6, right? GTA 6 could not show me any gameplay all the way up until, like, release. And I'm totally cool with that. Like, I, I don't care. But, like, for example, even a, even a game I love so much, like Star Wars, like a franchise that I, I love. Like, the, I forget, they came out with, like, that Star Wars, like, Bounty Hunter game, right? In the original trailer, or people were talking about, it, like, the concept of it sounded really cool. And, like, these, like, cinematics I saw, I was like, oh, my God, I'm... I'll pay whatever for this seventy dollars, whatever. And then I saw the gameplay and like it broke down, like you know the actual gameplay. What you do? I was just like, not for me. It's still for somebody, and that's great to the people that want to play that. But if it's if it's not, I need to be seeing gameplay in the trailer. I've always been very skeptical of that. Like, uh, I might have decided if I'm spending seventy. Look, I'm not. I'm not saying it's a bad game. Uh, it definitely looks like it has its um its appeal and it's it's got its target group of people. Um. But you you know what I mean? Oh damn! <laughs> um, I'm gonna care about the game. I'm not gonna care about. I don't think I've trees. been looking at it too. I mean, these are nice. It's great. It's good. Cut I, cut I like cut. That. If the graphics are great, then that makes the game better. But I'm sorry, but video game with good graphics isn't gonna get me to play it. Unfortunately, some people are still not really kind of aware of this trickery that's been going on here. And so, of course, they decided to buy the day before. And I think that that's a really good example of the issue that I'm talking about, is that any time that a video game, and this is basically what the day before was, was a survival, open world, extraction, looter, shooter, MMORPG, open world. And, you know, basically, like, if you had a business sales pitch and you had to give it to some 70-year-old investor who doesn't play video games. This is what you would tell them? understand a little bit about it because their grandkids play Fortnite. Think about all the buzzwords <laughs> that you would use to hoodwink this guy into giving you $100 million. And that's basically the way this game was advertised. And anyway, the game comes out and it's a complete piece of fucking garbage. Of course it is. I mean, what a surprise. And people go and they do some digging and they look around and they see the fact that almost every single thing that exists in the video game is just lifted straight from the store. And I think that, again, one of the best ways that you can tell that this is happening That's is tough. an over-reliance on a focus of the background or the focus of non-essential gameplay elements inside of a trailer that actually have nothing to do with the game itself. So the way that the lighting looks, the way <coughs> that the water looks, the way that the environments look. And I think this is especially true with things that are... Not, of course, photorealistic, but are going into the very, very realistic, oh, this looks very real, the graphics look very good, high-fidelity graphics, not more. If they're sitting there trying to sell you by look at how real this game looks and look at how, like, clean it looks, odds are it's not a good game. Stylized graphics. I see this happen. They need You need to at least be hooked in by a story or a gameplay or something. A lot. And I think that the more that there's a focus on that, the higher the chance is that this game could just be a joke. Now, don't let this discourage you from trying some of these games out. Just make sure you buy them on Steam and you don't play them for more than two hours before you decide if you want to keep right. them. Right. I was going to say, this is where a lot of times, like, as long as you just get that shit on Steam. I, he said two hours. I thought you only had an hour. Maybe it is two. Um, but, you know, yet this shit is usually it, it's a dirty scheme right i mean it's no surprise that with everybody being able to basically make a video game that you know people are going to be scummy with it so yeah i mean i'm 100 percent with them just buy that shit through steam don't play it you know that much it, it's that stuff is so early easy to catch and don't sit there and think oh it's going to magically get better maybe they saved the uh, the budget for for end game they didn't it's a scheme keep them so you can always refund it if it inevitably probably becomes garbage or is garbage or some variation of that. So I think that for me, this is a, again, it's a very big double-edged sword because as I said earlier, it allows people who could never make video games to make them and it also allows people who should never make video games to make them as well. So how do you address this? How do you approach this? I don't necessarily think that there is a guaranteed solution for it, which is why I'm talking about it in this video.
I just simply wanted to share something that I've noticed a lot with the- Oh, because it's like, it's like setting up the fucking scammer bullshit. You know what I mean? There's nothing you can really do about this. People, scammer gets scammed, you know what I mean? Like, people are always going to sit there and get, you know, taken advantage of. Look at the scammers that do the emailing and everything like that. You know, it, it, technically everything that they do is illegal in some kind of way, but that, there's no solution to that kind of shit. They're doing the, the back end work. They're, those guys are reading through the lines. These games. And I think that in the process of noticing that and seeing kind of like, okay, this is a little bit of a pattern that we're starting to see here. Well, then maybe in that case, you know, we can maybe think about paying attention to this a little bit more. And as soon as I see this, I kind of have my guard up a little bit. I'm a little bit, you know, less likely to just immediately get hyped up about these games. And it's unfortunate that that's the truth, but the reality is that I think that people are going to obviously try to make games like You know who do you know who that really hurts? That really hurts like the companies that are out there and like grinding it. You know, really they're actually putting in the work and making these games and then when they have some huge, crazy, lucky breakthrough and someone like an Asmin or someone like, you know, a Quinn, a Shroud, a Lyric, and a Summit, like anybody that might just be checking out their game, whether they're going to post on YouTube and react to it or not, like they're going to get those chants and those people now are going to be a lot less likely to really encourage other people to go get it as this starts to become more common. So those are the people that are really losing out on it. The people that are, you know, that most people will be smart enough to not get scammed or they'll you know smart enough to buy it on steam and refund but there's a lot of people out like there's other people that it is hurting negatively like this and it it does come down to the consumer to really make an educated decision that's why my advice is always to make sure to watch streams make sure to watch youtube videos uh you know i don't care if i watch it with ad blocker neighbor's wi-fi stolen laptop i encourage this for people all the time whenever people ask me about games my one boy was asking me for like ARPG advice because he wants to start diving, uh, diving into the genre. And I basically listed off like a couple games. I was like, go watch a couple streams. Here's my recommendations for, you know, how much time you're going to put into it, all that stuff. But I always encourage people to watch streams. I'm not saying you got to become a, a fucking normal Twitch viewer where you're subbing to three people on it, but just like go and look at some gameplay. Nobody knows that you're sitting in their in their chat. Uh, nobody sits there with their users popped out in chat looking like and seeing everybody. Yeah, I guess maybe some do, but. Nobody's doing that shit. If you're one of those people that like is like that, just go watch streams. Like, I think it is so helpful or just like some gameplay videos on YouTube. Easy. Whatever you want to do. The end of the day, you just want to actually see somebody legitimately play the game before you buy it yourself. Okay. That's my best advice. And I think it's basically don't let yourself be consumed by the hype for these games. And also another thing is that a lot of people on the internet like to commit to an idea. They like to think about something and have a viewpoint. And then they never change that viewpoint because if you change the viewpoint, then you admit that you were wrong. Well, guess what? Sometimes you're misled and your initial impression is wrong. And unless you want to be out 60 or actually, what am I talking about? We're in 2024 now, $70 for a new video game at the least, uh, it's important to every once in a while swallow your pride and think to yourself, hmm, maybe this isn't actually as amazing as I thought it was going to be. So I'm really hoping that more people can start picking up on this and start realizing it. And again, I want to talk about it just one last time just so you guys can kind of see where I'm coming from with this is, you know, an over-reliance on environmental factors. You go back and you look at the, the, the last three or the first three Unreal 5 tech demos, you see what they're showing. And if any of the games start showing a lot of environments like that, Dude, this is nice. This is this is 720. What do you mean? Gameplay, you're talking about systems. That's the point where you need to be worried. That's the point where there could just be zero creativity and a literal control C, control V situation. It is totally lifted off of the store, and there is nothing original or there is no quality to this whatsoever. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Well, just because it's not original assets doesn't mean that it's not going to be a great game. Look at something like Only Up, for example. Yes, that's such a great idea. Let's look at the one exception instead of the actual rule. Let's look at let's look at the one or two other games that use store assets like Dark and Darker, and then let's base our entire decision-making process off of just two different games. 
or we can look at the other hundreds of games that have come out in the past year or so that have looked amazing, and that's all they've done. And to be honest, they don't even look amazing, because after you've seen about five or six of the games, you've seen all of them. And what I mean True. by that is literally you've seen all of them, because they're all using the exact same assets. So yeah, guys, Unreal 5 tech demos disguised as video games. Don't let them hoodwink you. It's happened to me, and it's happened to other people too. And I'll be honest, I'm going to keep buying them because, hey, it's really great for video content, and, you know, it's like it, it's, it's good for me, right? But you want to make sure that you make an educated decision with your money, and I want to make this video and kind of share my insight and my Jesus. thoughts on this because I've been seeing this going on for really now, I don't know, probably two years or so. And I think it's only going to get worse. And also, again, it's a double-edged sword. It gives some developers that don't have the tools the ability to make something amazing. And, uh, man, sometimes it gives them the ability to make something that really, really sucks, too. So anyway, guys, that's about all I've got. I'd be really curious in the comments to hear some examples of games like this that were that for you. Whenever you saw the game, you were like, ah, yeah, this is probably just a tech demo, and it's not actually a real video game. I'd like to see them for myself, just so I could kind of, you know, just for my own enjoyment, I guess. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, that's about all. Go down there and fucking let him pick your brain. This is a W video. Um, yeah, but link it to you guys. Do your thing with that. Um, he's right. Like, I think everybody kind of having access to UE5 is is a net positive because I think that's going to help. There are a lot of people out there that just need some of those extra things and they are skilled enough to make a video game. So I think it's going to help a lot of people. But I've, like anything, there's going to be people that are scumbag. There's going to be people that were, you know... They're, of course they're going to cheat the system. It's like everything. Welfare as a as a concept is a, is a great thing. And then look at how it gets used. Like it, You can use this literally with almost anything in any job, any profession. Like it's, not, it's not surprising. Uh, I thought I went back 10 years to the past. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I love how I made a shitty quality video to prove if it's good, you'll consume regardless of visual quality. Yeah, that's actually funny. Like We, we were just literally talking about this here in chat like look at how bad his recording quality is bro youtube says this is 1080 1080 hd no it is not asmin is the only dude that could be a multi-millionaire and still upload his videos in like 720p dude and then still fork out 450,000 views in two days this is just ridiculous man 